Hello all, happy Tuesday, February 7th, 2023. We welcome you to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Eli. And hello, I'm Sophia. We're so happy to have this great opportunity to join you on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Everyone, check your emails throughout the day. Be informed and don't miss important information, such as dis early dismissals, items dropped off, office requests, important messages from teachers, etc. Just do it and be responsible. And attention, all students that normally ride bus 7, you will be riding bus 31 home this afternoon. Again, bus 7 rides home on bus 31 today. Over to Harper and Paul, recognizing our counselor for the National Counseling Week, Mr. Brenner. I'm Harper, I'm with Mr. Brenner. Thank you for being our school counselor. You really um, make the school a better place, and we really look forward to seeing you every single day. That's awesome, thanks. Happy School Counselor Appreciation Week. What's your favorite part about your job? Favorite part about being a school counselor? Yeah. Getting to work with all you wonderful people. You know, a lot of students need things from time to time, and I like to be over there to help support, uh, make you guys have a good day, and be successful in all that you do. But thanks, Mr. Benner, for all you do. Continuing our Black History Month features, today we'll be featuring Phyllis Wheatley. Phyllis Louis Wheatley was born May 8, 1753, in West Africa, and died December 5, 1784, in Boston, Massachusetts. Wheatley was considered the first African-American author of a book of poetry. Phyllis was most known for being the third colonial American woman to have her work published. Phyllis Wheatley was ac accomplished things that no other woman of her status could have done during that time period. Way to go, Phyllis. Wow, such amazing accomplishments. Thank you, Phyllis Wheatley, for everything you did for our country. Next up, did, did you know? Did you know Santa Claus was given an official pilot's license in 1927? Wow, I didn't. Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Periodic Table Day. That'll make our science teachers happy. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to celebrating today is Miss Proctor. Have a wonderful day. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Miss Proctor. Happy birthday to you. Have a wonderful day and great singing crew. Yes, happy birthday to Miss Proctor. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, attention, all students who normally ride bus 7 should ride bus 31 this afternoon. So repeating, if you normally ride bus 7, you should ride bus 31 this afternoon. All right, robotics is canceled this week due to staff meeting conflicts and conferences. Our next meeting will be Monday, February 13th from 3 to 5 p.m. Are you interested in computer science? Would you like to learn more about coding? If so, please join the Junior High Tech Club on Thursday, February 9th from 3.15 to 4.30 in the Junior High Media Center. Students from Sycamore High School Computer Science Program will be here to talk about computer science and lead the group in coding activities. Students must provide their own way home at 4.30. For more information, please contact Mr. Brenner or Mr. Gutermuth. Don't forget, eighth grade boys interested in playing varsity soccer, you're going to meet the head soccer coach tomorrow, that's Wednesday, February 8th, during Flex Bell. Make sure you email Mr. Tanaka so he can share the Google, lo Google link for you to sign up online. At the meeting, they'll, tell you question, they'll answer questions about tryout process, summer workouts, etc., etc. So don't miss that meeting. Running Club, remember, new update. As previously announced, we're going to meet until February 24th, but since you're not able to meet due to weather conditions, we're going to start next week's, meet, next week's meeting Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Please refer to the Running Club Google Classroom for any practice information and updates. Ms. Beatty will let you know when the last practice is. Uh, anyone still able, anybody can join. If you would like to, you can still join the Running Club. 
Are you a current seventh grader who's interested in joining choir next year? It is never too late to sing. The choirs are always looking for new members to join them. If you are a current seventh grader who is currently not in choir this year and would like to sign up in the eighth grade, please see Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Stein in room 105. No singing experience is required. Feel free to email either Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Stein if you have any questions. And the tennis meeting that was canceled last week due, due to our uh, gas emergency evacuation day, tennis meeting has been rescheduled for flex bell during Thursday. So for any boys interested in joining tennis team this spring, please stop by the cafeteria Thursday during flex bell to get information about the upcoming season, which starts March 6th. If you're unable to make it Thursday, please stop by Coach Indriola's room, that's room 116, to get that information. All right, that's it for me. That's all the announcements. You guys have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Go. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What, what flowers give the most kisses on Valentine's Day? I don't know what. Tulips. <laughs> <laughs> Stay extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBS expectations every day. Have a wonderful day, and go, go Aves! Aves.